Amadal Kumar sharing with you videos on solving problems relating distance, speed and time. As you know, a triangle like this could be used to remember the relation between distance, speed and time. Distance d is equal to speed times time, right? That's the relation. The question here is, Anil traveled by bus and plane a distance of 13, 20 kilometer in five hours. If the bus averaged 40 kilometers per hour and plane averaged 60 kilometers per hour, determine the time spent traveling by plane. That's the question. My suggestion is that whenever you have distance, speed, time, make a table and then approach. So we'll make a table with four columns. The first one for the activity, then distance, speed and time. A number of rows will be the activities, then total of each activity, right? So that's the activity part. Here we can write distance, speed and time. Units for distance is kilometers in this case. Speed is kilometers per hour and time is in hours. The activity here is Anil traveled by bus and plane. So it is by bus and by plane. Okay. Now we can fill in all the required values which are given to us, right? Says Anil traveled by bus and plane a distance of 1320. So where will that go? This is the total distance by bus and train, right? So we'll write another row, total. Total distance of 1320 kilometers in five hours. That is the time. Do you see that? Now, if bus average 40 kilometers per hour, so bus average, that's the speed. And plane average 600, that is 600. Determine the time spent traveling by plane. So we have to find this time. Do you see that? I mean, we have to find this time. Now, since the relation of distance, speed, and time is distance is product of speed and time, it's a good idea always to define time as one of the variables. So let us say B is time by bus and P is time by plane, right? In that case, what is the distance traveled by bus? Distance is product of speed and time. So it will be 40p and this will be 600p. Do you see that? So now from here, as you can see, we get two equations. One is regarding bus and plane distance, total distance. The other one is total time, correct? So let me write down these equations. One of these equations is 40B plus 600P equals to 1320. We'll name this as equation 1. The other one is B plus P equals to 5. We'll call this as equation 2. So we got two equations and two variables. We can always solve these equations to find the value of both the variables, right? So we'll use the method of substitution. Since we want this value P, I'll write B in terms of P, right? So we can say B is 5 minus P. We'll call this as equation 3, right? Now let's see how to solve it, right? So what we can do is we can substitute the value of B, that is equation 3, in equation 1. Is it okay? So we are basically substituting this value of B here. So we can write this as 40 times within brackets this value 5 minus P plus 600P equals to 1320. Do you see that? Is that clear? So now we have an equation only in one variable. You can always open and solve. So distributive property, 5 times 4 is 20, so we get 200 minus 40p plus 600p equals to 1320. 
bring variables to one side and the constants to the other side right so we'll take 200 to this side so we have 600 p minus 40 p equals to 1320 take away 200 600 minus 40 means 560 p equals to 1320 means 1120 correct so p is equals to 1120 divided by 560 so if I divide I get 2 so P is 2 for us right so the question was determine the time spent traveling by plane so P is equals to 2 so we got our answer so our answer is time traveled by plane is 2 units are hours is it okay very important to include units in the word problems i'm Adil kumar and i hope that helps you to understand a very simple process by which you can always solve a linear system which involves distance speed and time i'm Adil kumar feel free to share my videos and write comments thank you and all the best